the Ending Discrimination in COVID-19 Treatments Act would mandate the Department of Health and Human Services to require that providers not engage in discriminatory practices when treating COVID. I filed this bill in response to reports that states across the country have used race and ethnicity as a factor in determining whether someone is eligible to receive COVID treatments, particularly monoclonal antibodies when they were first introduced. This bill now applies to all COVID funding and treatments, not just monoclonal antibodies. This kind of discrimination and treatment has happened in the past year. In January 2022, a man in New York who had both COVID and pneumonia was denied monoclonal antibodies. He told CBS News, quote, the doctor just shut me down and said, this is the criteria. You're not of age, which is 65, and you're not a minority. As part of its response, the New York Department of Health told CBS, quote, this guidance is based on CDC guidelines that show COVID mortality rates are higher among certain demographic groups, including senior citizens, immunocompromised individuals, and non-white Hispanic communities. So what New York said is they were following CDC guidelines in determining how this COVID treatment would be distributed. As New York itself admitted, the CDC guidelines are encouraging racial discrimination in the distribution of health care, and that's immoral and wrong. My bill would stop this discrimination. Let's be very clear here. Race, religion, ethnicity should not be a factor zero in determining anyone's medical treatment. Doing so is unconstitutional, it's wrong, and it's abhorrent. Mr. President, these are battles worth fighting. For those